What's up guys, it is your boy Dagod Rajit and in this video I'm going to be talking about Titanfall after 2 months. So after all the hype has died down, I'm going to talk about my honest opinions about the game. Now, before the game launched, there was a lot of hype saying this game is probably going to be the best FPS game ever created. Uh, you can wall run, wall jump, jump to heights which you have never jumped in COD. It's going to be the COD killer, everyone's going to stop playing COD and play Titanfall the death of the PlayStation Nation and X rise of Xbox however uh, in my opinion my honest opinion the game was really really fun to play in the first two three weeks and I really enjoyed it to be honest with you uh, the mechanics were like we've never seen before and it's pretty amazing how they thought of such a good game and it was a good job by EA and Titanfall however they missed they lacked in one ability the ability to make the game interesting and addictive by say getting kill streaks or goals you wanted to go in the game not only leveling up and prestiging that's not enough i mean or that is a goal but it's not enough once you reach max prestige what do you do you just get bored of the game so yeah first of all they lacked in one department which was the weapons now the weapons we they had two smgs one assault rifle one lmg one shotgun and two snipers that's about that's it no other weapons i mean in call of duty you have about seven eight classes of weapons and in each class you have about seven weapons that makes it about 56 weapons to choose from like if you get bored of one weapon you can go with the other go get bored of the honey badger go with the remington get bored of the remington go with the ak start using a submachine gun so that there's so many things to do in call of duty and also the customization options in titanfall are not that great to be honest they couldn't copy perks from Call of Duty, that's of course copyrighted by Call of Duty. However, they could maybe make it a little, little more options. There are quite a few options, but not enough in my opinion to keep you entertained. Then, uh, there's no kill streak and no goal to go for apart from getting your Titan doing well in the game, which is then almost every game. So yeah, you there's no kill streak, there's no ultimate goal, there's no hard thing to go for and once you get it get a sense of achievement so that's what that's what is lacking the no kill streaks uh, you just get your titan if you get kills which is like three or four and then you get your titan like in call of duty we have a kem we have so many strike packages we have specialist strike package we have assault strike package we have support strike packages there's so many things to do and yeah to be honest with you guys, that is my opinion about Titanfall. Um, the gameplay you guys are seeing in the background is some Titanfall gameplay recorded on the PC using an Xbox 360 controller. And I did go pretty good in this game. I'm decent. I didn't get quite a bit of skills, but I got less deaths, which was two in number. Uh, so, yeah. And another thing I wanted to talk about is that Call of Duty goes in my opinion have done a great job with the DLC um, they made the maps uh, smaller sh faster pace people love it and I really love it so yeah and by the way guys the Titanfall DLC just launched today um, I don't know what it's called I'm not sure of the name and I don't feel like verifying right now uh, I think it's called Expedition DLC I'm not sure guys correct me in the comments down below if you guys want me to know and correct me oh my god what am i saying okay yeah so that launched with three new maps now now look at call of duty's dlc we have four maps a new weapon a new extinction mode and one more thing i like to add the lack of game mode you man you have attrition hardpoint capture the flag and last time standing uh, that's about it i mean look at call of duty they have ghost has about 10 to 15 game modes Team death match kill confirmed domination capture the flag blitz or oh, capture the flag is blitz sorry a uh, gun game drop zone hardcore hardcore modes I mean look at the amount of variety in Call of Duty if Titanfall had more variety let me be straight with you guys real with you guys it would have been the game of the year in my opinion but not many people are playing it right now as compared to release date and I don't even know about the sales numbers of Titanfall. Is it 1 million, 2 million? Because that's not much when you compare it to Call of Duty. Uh, 
wait how much it goes sell i'm not sure okay this is more of a freestyle comedy guys hope you guys enjoyed uh i just want to speak my thoughts and i hope you guys are enjoying uh, me you know sharing my thoughts with you without any topic fixed topic i just want to talk about time for okay i want to make a video about it that's cool and i hope it felt original i hope you like this video if you did don't forget to leave a like down below subscribe for more call of duty titanfall nfs any game you want me to play i'll play it for you guys i'm really open except fifa so i see you guys in my next video don't forget to follow me on twitter and if you guys didn't know i am partner with cameo and they have a great network no lock in contract pretty amazing so if you guys would like to partner and grow your youtube channel i'd be glad to help just click the link down below and you will be able to partner with cameo no cost just sign up and they probably take you in no requirements really helps grow your channel in my opinion so i see you guys in my next video i'm out peace